These days, the price of modern football boots can be extremely high, with some of the top end models retailing for more than $250. Thankfully, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars just to get a good pair of boots. For around a $100 price point, you can actually find a really good quality pair of football boots that can last you well over a season. So in this video, we're gonna cover five of the best affordable football boots of 2023. To give you an idea of the criteria I used when selecting these five boots, I made sure that they each came in at a reasonable price point, that they had good build quality, and that they were comfortable. And the five boots in this video satisfy each of those markers. Now in this video, we're not going to be going too deep into takedown models. Instead, we're going to be talking about affordable top-end models. And at the end of the video, if you're interested in purchasing any of these boots, I'll leave a link below to the Upper 90 website where you can find them at a discount. Now let's get into the video. And the first boot we're going to be discussing on this list is one of my personal favorites, the Nike Premier 3. Now the Premier has been a great affordable option from Nike for the past several years. I was also a very big fan of the Nike Premier 2 when it was first released and you can currently find this boot retailing for about $110. And if you're looking for a boot with a full kangaroo leather upper, I don't think you can find anything cheaper than that $110 price point that comes with the Premier 3. And the K leather used in the Premiers doesn't just look good, it also feels good, it's really soft and plush to the touch. Premier 3 also has a simple traditional lacing system that provides really good lockdown, and they also include an optional fold over tongue if you're into that retro style. Personally, I opted to remove the tongue just because I thought it looked a little bit more modern without it, but at the end of the day, that's just gonna come down to individual preference. The sole plate is really versatile with these short conical studs that are gonna be good for both firm ground and artificial grass. In fact, when I use these cleats, I use them almost exclusively on AG surfaces. As with any kangaroo leather boot, these do tend to stretch a little bit, so although I got these in my usual size 10 and a half, when I first purchased them, there was almost no space at the front of the boots, and after using them for a few months, they do tend to open up a little bit. But with that traditional lacing system, I always found that I was able to get the right amount of lockdown that I needed. Beyond being comfortable, I also really like the design of the Premier 3 as well. I think it has a really clean and simple aesthetic, and I also like almost all of the colorways that it comes in. I got mine in this nice platinum and gold colorway, but you can find a lot of different ones online. And overall, I think the Premier 3 is actually one of my favorite Nike football boots on the market right now. Next up, we have a relatively new football boot to enter the market, and that's the Adidas Copa Gloro. Now to quickly summarize what the Copa Gloro is like, I would say it's pretty much Adidas' answer to the Nike Premier 3. It's a full calf leather upper football boot that's gonna retail for a little bit less than the Premier at around $99. Now, although most of the features are pretty similar to the Premier, there are a few key differences that are worth noting. So obviously, as I mentioned, the Copa Gloro is gonna be calf leather rather than the kangaroo leather that's used on the Premier, but overall, the type of leather, I don't feel like it makes a huge amount of difference here. The calf leather on the Gloro still feels feels really soft and it feels very durable as well. There's actually a larger fold over tongue with an elasticated strap that's used on the Copa Gloro as well. It's almost reminiscent of those classic Predators from the early 2000s if you're familiar with that style of football boot. And like other Adidas football boots, the silhouette and sole plate of the Copa Gloro is going to be a little bit wider than some other options on the market, so if you have slightly wider feet, the Copa Gloro may fit you a little bit better than the Nike Premier. Conical studs on the Gloro are also a little bit longer than those on the Premier, which is gonna make them just a little bit more aggressive on the pitch. But as far as all of the boots in Adidas's lineup, I would say the Copa Gloro is the best thing they have to offer at $100 or less. Next up, we have another great affordable leather football boot, and that's the New Balance 442 V2 Pro. And as far as price is concerned, this is gonna come at a little bit more of a premium compared to both the Nike Premier and the Copa Gloro, because the New Balance 442 retails for about $130 full price, but these days you can often find it on sale for closer to $100. Now to describe the 442 at a glance, I would say it's almost like a more modern and sleek version of the traditional Copa Mundial. The 442 features a full kangaroo leather upper with the leather used throughout the entire length of the boot, including the toe box, the midfoot, all the way around to the heel. And all the stitching and the seams and the craftsmanship throughout the boot seem to be really well done and very high quality as well. I will say that if I were to rank the leather materials themselves, I would say that the leather used in the New Balance 442s actually feel just a little bit more premium than the same leather that's in 
the Nike Premier 3s, even though they're both actually using K-Leather. In fact, the leather used in the New Balance 442s actually reminded me of some of the way more expensive leather boots I felt from brands like Mizuno. Also, compared to any other brand on the market, New Balance actually has, I think, the widest football boots, even more so than Adidas. So if you actually have really wide feet and you struggle to find a good fit in other models, I would definitely recommend checking out the New Balance 442 V2 Pro. So now that we've covered some great options for affordable leather football boots, let's talk about some good options for the speed boot category. And that brings us to our next boot, and that's the Puma Ultra Ultimate, or really anything from the Ultra series. And so one thing you'll notice is that Puma, compared to other brands, tends to refresh their model lines really frequently, almost every few months. And that means that you can find older colorways of boots like the Puma Ultra Ultimate for about $130. And considering this is Puma's top end speed boot, that's a really good price. So what are the key features of the Puma Ultra Ultimate? Well, the ultra weave upper on this boot is one of the thinnest I've ever seen on the market. And that razor thin upper is gonna give you a really barefoot touch on the ball. Just keep in mind that that thin upper is also gonna mean that you're not gonna have a whole lot of protection in the event that you get stepped on or tackled. Another thing to keep in mind is that in my experience, Puma football boots do tend to run pretty narrow and slim throughout the forefoot. So if you do have narrower feet, these are gonna be great boots for you. But if you have really wide feet, then and it might not be the best option. And at the base of that really thin upper, the Puma Ultra Ultimate also has a really aggressive sole plate as well. So if you're in the market for a narrow, streamlined, minimal football boot, then I think the Puma Ultra Ultimate could be a really great boot for you. Then to round out our list, we have what I think is probably the best affordable football boot that you can currently get on the market, and that's the New Balance Furon V7 Pro. Now, although you may still think this boot is higher price, coming in at around $130 to $150, the quality of the Furon V7 Pro rivals boots that are $280. So in my opinion, the value for money with these boots is just unbeatable. So why do I think the Furons are so good? At the end of the day, for me, it just comes down to comfort. A lot of the times when you're fitting into these modern speed boots, although they're really slim, very light, and have a lot of fancy features, they aren't always the most comfortable boots. Sometimes there's gonna be pressure points at different parts of your feet, but that's just not the case with the Furon V7 Pro. The Hyponit upper is so soft to the touch and the boots just fit amazing, pretty much like a glove around your feet. The offset lacing system is really well executed and provides great lockdown as well. And another feature I really appreciate about the Furon is that it doesn't taper too aggressively towards the toe box. So for wide-footed players like myself, these boots still fit really well. And what might surprise you most about the Furon V7 is that it's actually lighter than any other speed boot in its category. That means it's lighter than the Puma Ultra Ultimate that we just discussed. It's also lighter than the Vapor 15, as well as the Adidas X Speed Portal. So even ignoring the factor of price altogether, if you're considering getting a speed boot, I definitely think that you should at least try on the New Balance Furons just to see how they feel before you make your decision. Because if you're more used to buying speed boots from brands like Nike and Adidas, I think you might be pleasantly surprised with what you find. And it certainly doesn't hurt that they only cost about half the price. And there you have it, that wraps up our list of the five best affordable football boots of 2023. If you've had the chance to try on any of these boots, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, feel free to let me know if I've missed any boots by typing them out as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.